This morning it was fantastic to have the opportunity to go out to the countryside to visit the Inspira Farms cold storage facility which is making available um, cooling for uh, agricultural products that need to get to market and it was really fantastic to see how all the work that goes on in these conference centres like the, the wonderful centre here in, in Kigali that was hosted the, the amendment to the protocol that everybody running around with the pieces of paper in all these rooms actually turns into change on the ground for people that can make you know, their lives better in terms of the food that they eat, in terms of the money they can earn, and in terms of the planet. So in that way, it's a win-win-win. The cooling strategy puts in place, ensures that the HFCs are reduced according to Kigali Amendment, and that the energy efficiency is promoted. Inspira Farms has been working in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture of the Rwandan government to develop a project to improve market access for rural agricultural producing communities across the country. Inspira Farms was started a couple of years ago to try and provide solutions for farmers um, and provide access to cold storage and food processing facilities and assist them to access higher value markets. Inspira Farms provides um, off-grid capable solutions like the unit that runs fully on solar power and reduce greenhouse gas emissions through the refrigerant gas we use in the unit. Energy efficient cold storage and food processing environments for smallholder farmers in rural Rwanda is critical to reduce a couple of key problems. Primarily, the food loss currently being witnessed in, the, in these regions, and secondarily, the access to the higher value markets that will lead to significant development of those communities. We have established a financial mechanism but that will allow people to access a loan, a loan facility, be able to buy a more expensive equipment but on a loan basis, so basically repay back in installments and, uh, and the savings that they are assured to get because they are consuming less energy, so saving money, will, will actually facilitate them to pay back the, um, the equipment. And, uh, and the financial mechanism will be available for commercial use as well as for household use. From the work we do in philanthropy, we're, we're always looking to try and make the maximum impact in, in this huge challenge we have to tackle climate change. And so what, what really needs to happen is for the, the case studies of, of the Inspira Farms cold storage facility and, the, and the, the leadership that Rwanda has shown, that needs to be replicated so that we can actually scale up these solutions so they make the impact that's needed in order to reduce global warming from around three degrees back down below two. It's great to come here to see this work. More work is needed in Rwanda and I hope that the rest of Africa and the world beyond that can follow the leadership that this country has shown.